Okay, so lots of questions about how I fit two babies inside one of the long Moby wraps. This isn't actually Moby. Found this for $15 at Once Upon a Child. Highly recommend always going to one of those places before buying brand new. Anyways, so if you've never done one of these as far as wrapping for a single child, you find the middle, put it at the center right under your bust, pull one side from the back, take the other side, cross it over, back, pull your hair up out of the way. Do this first, highly recommend pulling your hair up out of the way first. And then you take both and you tuck inside. So you should be here like this, looking very much like a Jedi right now. And when you're putting in two, I usually keep it a little looser just so it has more room to stretch. Hi, sweetheart, you're okay. And then you are here, cross front, cross behind, and do a little knot like so. I tuck these guys underneath just so they're not getting into anything. You pull it up. All right, now time for the babies. I'm gonna have this baby handed to me because she was grumpy, so she's <gasps> baby B. We love our baby B. So I usually do the biggest first in the one that is underneath because it's got more support. So we are going to slide her in. They will cry at first, but mostly because they're getting squished around. And I do feet on either side like that. Tuck her head under so she scoots, and then get the other grumpy baby and you have your other half here oh good job sister like I said they will cry and we're going to slide her in here oh you're okay yeah so you've got both in here like this I'm gonna tuck her little head under there and then you're gonna find this front part that you had in front of your stomach and we're gonna tuck their legs in Oh, you're okay. One leg in first, and then tuck the other leg. Float over that baby. I'm gonna tuck her leg in there. And her leg in there. Oh, you're okay. Her leg in there. Pull them up. And then you just bounce, and they calm down. Getting them in is a little rough at first, because who wants to be squished around? But there we go nice and cozy so the girls are starting to get to be a little too big baby brother can only be in here by himself because he's the biggest um, typically when you have multiples you do them when they're very very little so in the first couple weeks when both of them need to be held at the same time I would do this the girls have maybe only another couple weeks that I can do two of them at a time um, but it's fantastic especially when two of them are freaking out I'm able to carry them and still have arms and do everything and sometimes when I'm walking around the house, I'll just have my hand here in between their heads so their heads aren't like smushed together. But eventually they will both fall asleep and all of that. So to take them out, you just reverse what you did before. We're gonna pull this guy down and we're going to slide the first baby out. Usually tip over slightly. Shh. Okay. We're going to pull her out. Oh, you're okay. It's very much nap time. And then this girl comes out the normal way. And there we go. That's how we carry two in the wrap, which we'll only be doing for a couple more weeks. So we'll be looking for a new twin baby wearer carrier thing. Can you say hi? Now she's happy that she's not squished by sister.